In this video, I'll be illustrating the use of the switch statement in Java. The last example in the lecture was to use an if-else-if -if statement to output a message depending upon the person's title. What we will do is to replace the if statement with a switch statement. So what I'll do is comment out the statement and then paste in its place the equivalent switch statement. As you can see, the switch statement starts with the reserve word switch and then in brackets an expression that must be evaluated. The expression in this example is a string, but it could equally well be an integer, a char and some other things. And you perhaps ought to check the official documentation to see what other options are available here. The way this works is that uh, within the braces that delimit the switch statement, we list a number of cases. So for example, in the case that the title is equal to the string Mr, we will perform the statements that follow it. In this case, we have the one statement, system.out.println, hello sir, followed by a break statement, which causes us to come out of the switch statement altogether. If the value of title equals miss, then we are dealing with this case and we'll output hello young lady and again break, which means that we will then execute whatever follows the switch statement. Now in the original if statement, we had an or where the title is equal to misses or the title is equal to ms. We can implement or in this way by having case misses with no statements and most crucially, no break. When we have no break, it means that whatever statements are here will be executed and then, because of the missing break statement, will drop straight through into the following case. And therefore, in the case of Mrs. or the case of Ms., the message hello madam will be output and then break. So this is a really important point to make. If the break statement is missing, execution will follow straight through into the next case. We also have an else in the if statement and for switch the equivalent of else is default which means any value that has not been listed explicitly in the cases will then be covered by the default and those statements will be executed. Strictly speaking there is no need for a break statement on this particular case because to fall through and execute the next part essentially means to exit the switch statement anyway. And now I have a challenge for you. This switch statement is not exactly like the if because the if statement is doing a comparison ignoring the case but that is not going to be the case here. And so the challenge is for you to find a way to output the correct message whatever the uppercase lowercase mixture of letters is in the string held by title. 